Welcome Data here at Big Data Cloud. Let's meet with Jake Flumenberg. He is the Director of Product Management at Splunk. And let's find out what is Splunking is all about and that too with machine data. Hey Jake, welcome to Big Talk. Thanks for having me, Jada. Sure. Tell us a little bit about um, Splunking. What is Splunking and uh, what does it have to do with machine data? So Splunking is really the process of exploring your data and gaining insight from it. Machine data, you can think of as the data crumbs that are left by your applications, systems, and other types of infrastructure along the way, whether it's customer behavior, RFID sensor information, or fraudulent activity. Machine data is one of the fastest and most valuable types of data today, if you just know how to listen to it. And if you do, you can do things like optimizing uh, your product, monitoring your IT infrastructure for SLA violations, or just troubleshooting performance problems. So this machine data, how do you collect it and where do you store? Um, you know, the first problem that we realized we had to solve in order to provide insight from this data is collecting it. And there are a number of different ways we go about doing that. So I really think of Splunk as having three tiers. The first is data collection. How do I collect this data in a reliable, secure, and efficient manager manner? And there's a couple of ways to go about doing that. If you have a web server that's hosting your e-commerce site, let's say, okay. you can put a very lightweight agent on that box that will send the data to our centralized indexing tier. You can also just stream the data out over the network. If you can send it, we can listen for it. And then finally, if you have a little box, let's say a network switch, mm -hmm. that you can't actually put any of our bits on, yeah. we can help you interrogate that and then collect the status. The next thing we need to do is store the data. And the way that we do that is in a horizontally distributed fashion across commodity hardware. We store the data and we create an index with additional information that we use to make search and retrieval faster. Mm -hmm. And then finally, we have a reporting and visualization tier that lets you ask simple questions of our data and we take care of all the hard work to distribute that computation out across the horizontal cluster and bring you back the answer that you need. Mm -hmm. So it is an enterprise a solution end to end. Yeah. So, so how do you compare this to um, Hadoop or Cassandra or MongoDB, you know, in this, you know, to handle big data. A lot of the, the products you mentioned are fantastic storage layers, and some of them are a bit more. Hadoop is a fantastic way to, to perform advanced analytic algorithms like product recommendations or iterative MapReduce jobs. Okay. Splunk really prides itself on being an integrated end-to-end -end solution a single product that out of the box can solve the ingestion, storage, and reporting problem and let you ask questions of your data easily. And we'll take care of that hard work to figure out how to get you the answer. Hmm. So how about the reporting and like what features do you have? Uh, the first thing that we do is we let you ask questions of your data. Let's say I want to plot a metric like the web traffic behavior over the last couple of days. You ask that question, mm -hmm. we take care of all the hard work of distributing that computation out in a MapReduce-like fashion to all of the different nodes on which your data lives and collect the information back up. Then we let you visualize it and format your tables and, and then create reports that you can share with others. Mm -hmm. And we do this in a streaming fashion so that you can see the data as it's coming back. And this really lets you get to what we call the aha moment. We let you get that insight that says, oh, I need to refine my question or ask another question. And if you don't get that real-time feedback, you're going to ask fewer, less intelligent questions. So people start out, maybe they're just splunking for error. Yeah. I just want to see the errors. And that's great. So maybe you're a social gaming company, and errors are a leading indicator that something is wrong with your game. Mm -hmm. But you're continuously deploying. So you can roll back that game and make sure that you're still collecting revenue. Then you might realize that uh, someone is calling up and complaining, I didn't actually make this purchase. Well, sure. look at the logs again. And you can actually show them, well, at this date and time, someone logged in, maybe, maybe it was someone pretending to be you, I don't know. And then you can look at that same data and say, oh my gosh, look at this feature on my game that's and how it's being used. Maybe I can optimize my game to make it a better game or there's a new monetization opportunity I can take advantage of. So uh, in terms of operational intelligence, and so uh, Splunk, I read that it uh, provides services around that. So can you tell us a little bit about it? Operational intelligence is really about making business sense of this machine data so that a business executive uh, can get the information he needs and make business decisions in real time. 
Salesforce.com is a great example. They started off just monitoring the behavior of their cloud application. What's going on? Where are the errors? Where are the bottlenecks? Mm -hmm. Then they realized that they could use Splunk to capture product usage information. And this let them do two things. It let them first figure out, how can I improve my search, my search relevancy or other things that are important to me? But also let them see which features are being used the most and which ones are being used the least. Now they can take that information to their executives and they can make investment decisions based off the data that resides in Splunk. So Splunk is an integrated solution uh, for machine data and uh, it doesn't require someone to be a data scientist. This is great. And I, uh, thanks so much for coming in here. I think we learned so much about Splunk and definitely we are going to read more about it and hopefully use it soon too. Thanks so much, Jake. Thanks so much for having me, Jita.